you have all your hands if you are able, if you are able to rise up there are things you are coming against them this week is a week of telling God 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 come Lord come Lord come Lord come it all started with the locusts it came to coronavirus it came to drought it's now lgbtq come on just hold say we are coming out we are coming out we are coming out sio kawaida tumeamua kama kanisa mungu atupe nguvu it is not that you are safe you cannot be affected you can
that that money of activists will not confuse you. 30,000 should not confuse you. Even the dollars of money should not confuse your mind. Let us use our brains. Let us share as brethren. Praise the name of the Lord. Missing a if I know this week I'm going to miss, I will fast and pray. 30,000 should not mess your life. Money will not mess your life in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. You see, when I look, I'm going to invite the man of God. I want to invite the man of God. Welcome. You see, when I look, when you, I'm, I'm seeing 70 years to come. You. I'm seeing 50 years you. So may the Lord God protect you and cover you in Jesus' name. Come and appreciate the man of God. Appreciate him in a better way. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. Can, Can you greet your neighbor and tell him, Praise, Praise God. God. I'd like, like to welcome my beautiful wife, wife to come and greet you, you in the church. church. Be blessed. Amen. 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 Let, Let us appreciate her. her. Amen. Amen. We, we can, can have our seats in the presence of our, our Holy God. God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm glad to be here. I'm Joe Fiongaya. 
the Lord by His grace has given me a chance to serve in the judiciary. Apart from that, I knew you were Vice Secretary way back, and I still minister with the young people through the Trinity Fellowship, where we mentor young people in the ways of the Lord. We are blessed with the two daughters. I thought my wife would introduce them. Our first-born daughter, I know they are watching live. Our first-born daughter, Shalom Ushindi. And our second-born daughter is called Shema Mwema. And God has enabled us even to continue to have in this vineyard. I want to appreciate your pastor. Pastor Cliff and the entire leadership of you for giving us this chance to serve God in this place. So God has been so good unto us, and for the few moments that we shall share the word of God, I know God will minister unto us. Praise God. Buana I want you to encourage me. Praise God. We are used to a church that is so done, but in the presence of the Holy God, we need to celebrate. Those years, I miss you. I was a vice chair in the Christian Union during those years, and I loved serving God. The way my wife has said, she's home, I'm also at home. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, are you blessed? Ask your neighbor, are you blessed? This moment we want to share on a topic drawing closer to his presence. Drawing closer to his presence. And I know the media team will help me to project the text of the day that is in Exodus 33 verse 14 to 15 but I want to remind each one of us that you are so special in the eyes of God you are so unique in the eyes of God God has given you a destiny that no one else has praise God our God is so unique that he has, he has created each one of us with unique features. Tell your neighbor I'm unique. Tell your neighbor I'm unique. This morning we want to share the message, and I know the Holy Spirit has already manifested and ministered unto our lives. We know His power will come upon us in a unique way. We know when we draw closer to this God or on His presence, something unique shall happen. Praise God. We know majority of us are members of the Christian Union where every Sunday, the way all of us used to enjoy CUs, we used to come to see you to have a ministration of choir. But deeper inside us, maybe you can be a church goer or a CU goer. Maybe you have not received this Jesus and your life. This morning, I've come to remind each one of us you need to have a personal encounter with him at a personal level. Praise God. 
for you to receive his presence you need to receive him at a personal level not as a corporate hallelujah we are living at the dispensation where majority of us are so religious and take person we we take the things of god in a way that is not so relevant but let me remind you this morning that our god who was there in the beginning he is the same god who is there today hallelujah one as if you what is happening today in the current sphere where youths have ignored the voice of God, where many Christians want to do the things according to their ways. But I want to remind each one of us, God is not asleep. Tell your neighbor, God is not asleep. It is my desire by the end of this service, that each one of us should have that desire to have a personal relationship with this God. That each one of us, despite the shameful things that you have done, God will welcome you back to his glory. Despite the challenges that you face at an individual level, God is still loving you. Praise God. Buona Spiritual. You, you are chairperson, chair person, your, your pastor. pastor. Has, has reminded, reminded you that last week, week you were sharing, sharing about this love, love the love, love of Christ. Christ. I've come to remind us that also the same love of this God who is our Father. As children of God, God has called us develop a closer relationship with him. God has called us to draw closer to him even at the point of our weaknesses. Nobody is righteous before God. But we perfect our ways so that we can live the way Christ intended us to live. Praise God. Majority of us understand the biblical principles how God used to minister in the midst of his people. The same God is here. The same God is here this morning. He will minister at your point of need. The same way things are happening outside there. But we have that zeal and passion in Christ that God is in control. Praise God. Tell your neighbor, God is in control. What is the presence of God? The presence of God is the person himself of God the Father who manifests at the point of the needs of his people. I want to ask your neighbor, are you in need? Some of you now, Gopana, are you in need? Tell it to God. Tell your neighbor, tell it to God. How many of us are sick and you have lost hope? Tell it to God. How many of us are facing challenges of school fees, challenges of pocket money? I've come to remind you, you are standing and sitting in the presence of this holy God. Tell it to God. We can testify. I'm a testimony. I understand that serving God is not foolishness. I want to remind each one of us, serving God is not foolishness. When you serve God in sincerity, God 
will come and administer at the needs of you as a person. God will come and minister even to our needs as Christian Union. God will come and administer to our needs even at our home. Tell it to God. Hallelujah. When we align ourselves in the presence of this holy God, He will dwell among us. God will come to minister in our own needs. God will come to minister even at the point that we feel that's the point where the presence of God will raise you from grave and place you to a place where you say indeed this is the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want, I want to, to speak, speak to those, those who are in the fourth year. year. Those, those who are completing even their, their diploma course. course. That, that you feel that the world is not, not responding to you positively. Tell, Tell it to God. God. Tell, Tell it to God. The, the more we draw closer to God, God the more God draws closer to us. Hallelujah. For us to experience the presence of God in our lives, we ought to walk in obedience. For you to experience His manifestation in our lives, you ought to walk in obedience. The question is, how many times have you disobeyed the voice of God? How many times has God spoken to you, has God whispered to you, my sister, my brother, that you are going to a wrong direction? How many times have you ignored even the voice of God and the presence of God? Praise God. God. When, when God dwells among us, us with His power, even, even our, our character, character changes. changes. If, if you want, want to know a person who has received this power, a person who has received Christ in his, in, in his life, his character, His character changes. changes. Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Many of us feel the presence of God in our lives. But still, we walk in disobedience. Many of us remember in our lives that we are not worthy before Him. But by, by the, the grace, grace of God, God we see even a new day. As your neighbor, neighbor, do you think, think you are so precious? precious? Tell him, the name to your mungu. The grace of God has made us even to see this new day. We are not as special human beings, but this God who has forgiven me and you your sins has made us to see this new day. Many of us Christians have even walked in rebellion to the voice of God. Many of us have ignored even embracing what God, God has released in your spirit. Majority of us, God has us go right, but you go left, walking in a rebellion. We are living at a generation where most of us, brothers and sisters, we want to walk in fashion. We want to walk to please people. We want to walk 
that the society can recognize us. That is foolishness before God. That we yields more harvest is when you are in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Brothers and sisters. Sin and iniquity has drawn us far apart from this holy presence. But God this morning is calling us, each one of us, to return back to his holy presence. That is the message that I've come to remind each one of us. That despite our sinful nature, God is calling us back to his presence. Jesus died on the cross because God for us saw the greater things he has for us. God for us saw the beauty of having sons in the kingdom. God for us so even our weakness. That's why God brought Jesus Christ to die because of our sin. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is ready to redeem us. Our iniquity and sin has made us more vulnerable to attacks by the enemy. Praise God. I'll repeat. Sins and iniquity have exposed each one of us to attacks by the enemy. But I've come to remind each one of us that at the cross where all our sins were redeemed and we walked in freedom. This Jesus is calling us to walk in freedom. Praise God. Buenas if you I'd like the media team to project Isaiah 59 verse 2 The Bible say But your iniquities have separated you from God and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear you. Praise God. Our sins and iniquity have made God to hide his face. Praise God. What is the repercussion? When God decides to pull away from our midst. That's why I've said when sin and iniquity lives amongst us, God or the presence of God withdraws and you are vulnerable for attacks from the enemy. Brothers and sisters, the purpose of drawing closer to God or the purpose of drawing closer to His presence is for the Word of God to be manifested and to be radiated in our lives. Praise God. God. For us to radiate the glory of God. We need to receive that glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
you cannot glow mnasemanga glow you cannot glow if you don't have that glory praise god hallelujah you cannot glow if god is not inside you let each one of us have a burden of glowing in Christ Jesus let us have a burden of continuing to yearn to receive him continue even to draw closer to him that we may reflect the glory of God in our midst praise God hallelujah when we were in CU those years we used to say una 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 meremeta umeremeto wa mbinguni i don't know if that is kiswahili lakini nilikuwa ya see you too praise god, god. We, we were shining the glory of the heavens praise god brothers and sisters i want, I want to remind each one of us that we have a purpose at the individual level to encounter this Jesus, Jesus for us to walk in his presence, presence. We, we cannot walk in the presence of this holy god, god if sin and iniquity is part and parcel of our lives we, we cannot we cannot walk in his presence if rebellion and stiff neckedness is part and parcel of our lives Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. We can read the Exodus. Our text for the day. Exodus 33. Verse 14 to 15. The Bible, the Bible say Exodus 33 verse 14 to 15 And he said My presence will go with you and I will give you rest and he said unto him if your presence go not with me carry us up hence praise god i repeat and he said my presence shall go with you and i will give you rest Then he said to him if your presence does not go with us do not lead us up from here Brothers and sisters I want to remind each one of us that we cannot go minus God's presence You can take it to the bank as the layman usually say We cannot go without his presence. Even in the courses that we are doing in this institution. Even those who are working like some of us. You cannot excel minus that presence. Praise God. Therefore brothers and sisters in the Lord have come to remind us that we are carriers of the presence of God let me repeat it brothers and sisters we need to remember we are the carriers of the presence of God for God to manifest in power in our lives we must have him 
for you to do exploits you must have him for us to excel even in our academics we must have this Jesus in our lives for you to experience rest the rest of God hallelujah hey uliza wa jirani yako do you understand the term rest this is a jovial service musi bonde sura hallelujah kule nyuma praise god and those in the balcony hallelujah ask your neighbor do you understand the rest of god exodus says verse 14 my presence shall go with you that is god speaking that my presence will go with you after you encounter this god he will this presence will continue to move with you step by step but after after you receive him and you diligently serve him he will give us rest the rest of god when god gives you rest you will never doubt anything hallelujah praise god my wife is here we understand the term rest praise god hallelujah we understand if god says he will give you rest hata hiyo fee balance yeye na uko nayo hiyo inakusumbua saa hii god will sort it out praise god when god decides to give you rest even you can't explain how things manifest in your lives at a personal level i tried using my muscle using the knowledge that i have with my best qualifications going to interviews at one time one time I remember this God that was way back in 2015 I had gone for an interview and God himself the angel of the Lord himself spoke to me God is not accompanying you praise God hallelujah have traveled that time from western to Nyeri for a job interview that i felt ah mimi hapa ni niko na papers cv yangu nimenyorosha but the end of the lord that morning reminded me you are going alone god is not in this thing praise god Hallelujah. God reminded me. I was behaving like Jonah. That time. I was to accompany my friends for a mission in Baringo. Nikawambia brothers niko busy. See what nasema hivyo pastor. I'm busy. But kumbe nimejificha like Jonah going to Nyeri. And God himself spoke that you have gone alone. To cut the long story short, I qualified for the interview, but because God did not, God was not part and parcel of that thing. Neliambio ome Peter, when you're number one, let I was it. Praise God. I know you understand your was any in isn't you? Then I come to realize indeed God was not in this thing. 
in 2016, I went for an interview. The same way I was like comrade, comrade Akichoka Nyubani, you know, Unaenda interview, kila kila kitu. And God reminded me that my son, this is the thing, go. And I got the job where I'm working up to today. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, I like to remind each one of us that God continues even to speak to us while in small tiny rooms that we stay. God continues even to speak to us even at the moment that we feel so low. Do you hearken to his voice? Praise God. It's not that I'm a perfect, perfect person. It's not that we are so perfect. And my wife here. One thing that we, we normally listen to, even if we begin, we our projects, we, we normally ask God, are you in this thing? Praise God. Hallelujah. When we draw closer to his presence, God will give us rest. God will give us peace. It is my prayer and my desire that this, this afternoon, afternoon God will give each one of us peace of mind. God will settle us, even those who are in the fourth year, transiting out. It is my prayer that God will give you peace. God will accompany us even in those internship programs. That God even will provide job opportunities where men and women have said unafanya kosi ambaye iko marketable God will give you a place Hallelujah So long as you align with his presence Praise God In his presence there is fullness of joy That is in Psalms, chapter 6, 16, verse 11, the Bible says, You will make known to me part of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. Praise God. Ask your neighbor, are you sad? Ask your neighbor, are you sad? Are you worried? Tell him we have an answer. We have an answer today. God is the answer of all those situations. Praise God. I know all of us understand the story of the prodigal son. In the book of Luke, chapter 11, up to 32. Those who are writing, I know you will go and read it. We see in the prodigal son, of which it is a reflection of each one of us here. The story of the prodigal son reflects our relationship with his father. The story of the prodigal son reflects the relationship of you at an individual level with his God.
the prodigal son you understand the entire story but I want to give us few things that we can learn about the story as a son he used to enjoy certain things in the presence of his father when the prodigal son was so close to his father he was sure of an inheritance in the kingdom hallelujah he was sure that umze amenweke akitu we as christians we are sure of an inheritance that jesus christ promised us that we in, we will inherit the kingdom of god that is the assurance when you are in that personal closer relationship with this god we are sure or you are sure of a covenant protection the prodigal son used to enjoy a cover and a protection from his father the enemy could not strike him because the father was there hallelujah even us we enjoy the protection of our parents we enjoy the protection of that father who is so close to you nobody can attack you that is psalms 27 the bible say verse 40 verse 4 sorry psalms 27 verse 4 one thing I have asked of the Lord that I shall seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Praise God. To be behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. When you are closer to this God, we will enjoy the beauty of the Lord. When you are closer to this God, you will enjoy provision. You will enjoy liberty in his presence. There is freedom in his presence. In 2 Corinthians 3:17, now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. When, when you have the Spirit of God in your lives, there is liberty. There is freedom. Even those who are under bondage, I want to speak to us this afternoon that we have the solution. That when we draw closer to His presence, there is liberty, there is freedom. Praise God. And also, there is discipline. The prodigal son. I normally view it as part of discipline when he ran away from his father's cover alifunzwa na ulimwengu waswahili walisema hallelujah the world taught him some discipline the way if each one of us or majority of us run away from home the world will discipline us the world will not discipline us like a father, but like, like the world. world. This, this afternoon I've come to remind each one, one of us that we need to return, return home. Where there is freedom. Where, where there is liberty. Where there is provision. And where there is an in inheritance. In 
there are things you will enjoy while at home. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. Tell your neighbor there are things you will enjoy while at home. That's the principle of the kingdom. A stranger cannot enjoy the things of the home. Even at our homes, can a stranger go to the kitchen and cook? Anyhow. But the son, tell your neighbor, but the son enjoys everything at home. This means when we run away from God, we will not enjoy the things at home. When we fall in sin, the enemy will create in us fear that we are illegitimate, illegitimate sons in the kingdom. The enemy will plant in us that you are not a son in the kingdom. But I've come to remind each one of us closely that remember you are a son. Despite the discipline, you are a son. Despite even the world making us feel we are illegitimate sons, but you are still a son. So long as you speak to your heart, you speak to self that I need to return home. You will enjoy the presence of God. Praise God. Buana Sifiwe. In his presence, this fullness of joy. The presence of God is so fundamental in our lives. The presence of God is so crucial even to us as members of the Christian Union of Muku. That presence sorts our issues. Praise God. That presence make us stronger even in the things of God. When you run away from the presence of God, the enemy will keep on reminding you that you are not a son. That you are not a son. That you are not a daughter. Because the enemy knows if you go back to the presence of your Holy Father, you will reap an, in an inheritance that God has bestowed upon us. The enemy understands the potential that you have. That's why he continues even to whisper unto our lives that Rachel, that Quinto, that Cleave, that Benta, that Rose, that Mercy, this God doesn't love you. You are not a son. But I've come to remind each one of us we need to draw closer to the presence of this Holy God. We need to continue even to serve Him more. We need to love Him more than we love ourselves. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, do you love God? Do you love God? Even ask your neighbor, do you love me? Ask your neighbor. The agape love of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. The enemy will remind you that God doesn't love you. 
The same way the enemy reminded Adam and Eve until they ran away from the presence of God. The Bible says God could come at a tabernacle with them. What I need to mean tabernacle with them because it's in the Old Testament. God could come and visit. Do you want God to visit you? Do you want God to tabernacle with you at that personal level? Whereby you sit with God and reason as a father speaking to son. We have a loving God who is ready to tabernacle with us. So long as we are found in his presence. So long as our lives depends on him. So long as we reflect the image of that Christ, God is ready to tabernacle with us. God is ready even to save us. God is ready even to speak to us. At that point of need. The same way Moses said in Exodus 33:15. Then he said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not lead us up from here. How many times have you consulted God even before you do anything? This morning I've come to remind each one of us that we need to draw closer to this God. That we need to draw closer even to our Father. He is merciful. God is merciful. Even whatever sin you have committed in the face of men, you feel you are unworthy. But before this holy God, you are his son, you are his daughter. Praise God. We can stand. We can just think about you personally. Have you or do you have that personal relationship with this God? Is God part and parcel of your life? Do you involve God even in the things that you are doing? Do you? This morning, we have realized that we need this God more than we need ourselves. We need His presence more than we need it. We need even our friends. We need to with us. The same way Moses said, do not go with us. Do not The same way the servant of God, David, when they went in the war, they knew when the ark of God was taken away. The Bible records 30,000 
thousand soldiers were slain down. Because the ark symbolizes the presence of God. This afternoon, we are the temple. We need to receive that presence in our lives. The presence that reflects Christ in us. The presence of God will overtake us because we have him. Oh God, you can just open your mouth. Pray to God, whatever you feel. You have not have a personal relationship with this God. Open your mouth, tell him God. The same way the, the, the prodigal son realized, came to his senses and said, Oh my God, better I return home and be a servant than wandering in hunger and in distress in a foreign land. Maybe you are here, you have not had a person of, of, of the, the body of Christ. Maybe you are just a churchgoer. You have not received this Christ in your life. Like the prodigal son. God is beseeching us to return back home.
Father, our God. Indeed, we are grateful. Indeed, you are worthy of our praises this afternoon. God, your word has spoken to us clearly that even as a union of the Christian union of this Mount Kenya University, Lord, Abba Father, Tim speaking about O God Harvest. We pray, we pray for, for the abundance and the presence, presence of God, God. To, to lead them, them to even as they go to, to minister unto your people and to create oh God, more disciples, disciples of Jesus. Jesus. We, we pray, pray that, that our Father may be the experience the presence of God even during, during their harvest. Our, our Father, our God, God that your children here who are in need of the things that they know and you God you know Father your word says you hear even at the groaning of our spirits but Father we pray those who desire oh God to have a place in the deployment sector we pray for the break of God. Even those who are trusting you, God, for fees and basic things. Lord, your word says silver and gold and a thousand gold cattle on the hill belongs to you, God. Father, we pray may you supply every need according to your word. Father, we, we know we are, are passing through various challenges even as a nation. nation. The, the challenge of drought, the, the challenge of activism, oh God. Abba Father, Father, we are standing in one accord at our church. That Abba Father, be it anything that is not of God. That Abba Father, the enemy is planning in this nation. We pray with the power and authority. We approve every vice that is not of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of lesbianism and gayism. Our Father and the intercession of the Lord God. Our Father. You are not human, but you are God. Everything that is not from you, you God. God. Abba Father, Father, we will proclaim. May, may he die. May, may he die, die in the spiritual, spiritual and in the physical. Lord, Lord God, God, we, we thank, thank you because, because of this institution. We, we thank, thank you because, because of the leadership of this institution, oh God. God. The Vice, Vice Chancellor, Chancellor, the Chancellor, and even the, the Board. board. Even, Even the teachers, the non-teaching staff, bless them. I also pray for the leaders of this church. I speak the blessings of God the Father upon them. Our Father, even the members of this church and the members of this institution, they are going out and they are coming in this blessed Lord. Father God, Bless the work of their hands. Protect them and watch over their families wherever they are, Lord. We cover each one of us under the blood of Jesus. Lord God, you are worthy of our praises, King of Kings. Replenish us, Lord. Replenish your servants. Even those, those who are ministering in the will of God, we, we pray you your relationship with them, God. Their, their academics are blessed. Their, their parents are blessed. Their, their guardians are blessed. blessed. Even, Even their siblings are blessed. We will bless you, King, King of kings, kings and Lord of lords. For we trust Jesus, Jesus, we pray.
you appreciate the man of God. Appreciate it in a better way. In a good way, come on, lift up your hands. Give a shout to Jesus. It is all about drawing near to God. Tell anybody drawing near to God. Now what my lady says is come my lecture. You want to do to not talk about you without the blessing, without the grace. See here, how you are not talking. You, but it's okay. Praise, Praise the name of the Lord. Lord. Praise, Praise God. God. To to how, many how many people, people have, have been edified? edified? We're going, going to, to draw, draw near, near to God. God. In James 4, 4 it says, says draw, draw near, near to God, God and he draws near to to you. We are drawing near to God and He Himself as He draws near to us. We are so glad that indeed God has used the man of God, Pastor Ugaia, to share such a wonderful message that the great message to us that we will be able to adhere unto it. As if you were here soon, it's to smile to my lady. Pastors, just call those people. If you feel in your heart, you want to walk a journey and go a journey with God, maybe just come here, we pray. If you feel you are burdened, if you feel you have a prayer item, it is a certain lady that you are to pray with her for salvation. Where are you? Can you just come? Lord, Lord is renewing you. you. Do not, not fear. fear. Just, Just come, come, I think. Appreciate her. Wow, wow. The, Lord the Lord is doing, doing great things. things. Lift, Lift up, up your hands, hands and pray, pray for her. Pastor, Pastor I would like, like you to pray, pray for her. Yeah. 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 Lift, Lift up, up your hands and pray for her. Ni ivo mungu na kwa watu na bwana na regesha. And 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 shall die. Die. If, if you are there, you are feeling sick, sick. God, God is healing you. This, this time, time in Jesus' name, we believe and trust in the God who is. He is a God, God who opens doors no man can, can shut. shut. He is the God who opens. Come, come on, lift up your hands, hands pray, pray God. God. Read me. me. When, when you, you have a thorn in your flesh, flesh God, God is, is taking over and, and guiding, guiding your life in Jesus' name. We worship you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are great, Jesus.